My name is Annabelle Tolman. I am a fashion stylist, fashion journalist. I live, breathe, wear, and create fashion every day. Oh, that's oh, gorgeous. Good. I create image in many different forms, whether it be for celebrities, for red carpet, for magazine covers, photo shoots, you name it. I work with a million different celebrities. Scarlett Johansson, Anne Hathaway, Jennifer Hudson, Nicole Kidman, and Mariah Carey, and just everybody really. Scarlett wore that to a Nobel Prize event. I also work with private clients, giving them a bit of a do-over. I have to start thinking like this. We all need some A-list glamour. I'm gonna need you guys to bring up pictures of everything yes. that we don't have yet, please. It is a very high-pressure job with a lot of deadlines. We need an evening gown but somehow my team and I always pull it off. This is good, this is good, this is good. What's this going with? I love everything about glamour. That with that white turban I just pulled made with some black net. Creating beauty is my calling. Okay, Robin Brown. She's the founder of Clay, you know that really? Oh yeah, that great gym. So she's got Tons of money, she's willing to drop it. She has a ton of clothes already, but she needs help sort of updating her style. Michaela came to me with Robin. She's a friend of a friend, and she'd sort of done the pre-screening. You know, I need my research, I need my visuals. Get me something so I can get my teeth into it. There's a lot of bright colors here, but at the same time, I feel like a bit like it's wearing her rather than her wearing it. Yeah. I am Annabelle Tolman's first assistant. I do it all from prepping jobs, pulling the looks, dressing the clientele, everything. Oof, that's a bit frightening. This is a bit sort of female impersonator, yeah. isn't it? Mm hmm She's dating someone who I believe is 11 years younger. Oh. So her boyfriend is taking her on a vacation in or around the Swiss Alps. He wants to rent an Aston Martin and drive around. They're doing it big <laughs> and, and they're doing it fast. So anyways, we, like have to, we have to dress her mm -hmm. for the occasion. She looked like a ton of fun and really cute and blonde and loved her energy, but she looked like she could do with my help. Let's go and see what she's like. Why not? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm Annabelle. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Robin. And this is Michaela, who hey. works with me. So nice to meet, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thank, Thank you so good. much. Why didn't you tell me about you and, and your life? Well, my life has changed a lot recently. I sold my business about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So I still love to shop. I still love to go to Barney's and I hit the smaller boutiques. When I go and meet somebody, it's really just about getting a vibe from them. It's just a question of seeing what they're about. Do you still have a lot of, sort of social things that you go to? Not as much. I think if I'm shopping for something at that level, it's for more for travel. Right. Um, and we love to travel. She has a, a, an extreme sense of youth about her. Youth is not an age, it's an attitude. You know, it's an excitement for life. And I think that was when I decided, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Well, should we go and have a look, see what you have? Absolutely. Take me to your closet. Racks and racks and racks of clothes. My life stands before you. <laughs> you know what I do love? Galliano newspaper and also Dolce Gabbana cherries. I mean, I'm seeing somebody who really dresses for occasions. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Inside your wardrobe, hang your brains. You go in there and you find out who people think they are, who they want to be, who they have been. It sort of tells you everything about a person. It's like their diary. You have developed you're a leopard fetish. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana, I love them. You know, they're my go-to designer if I have a major event. Mm. Rich women have a lot of pressure to look as good as you possibly can. They're not in the public eye, but they're in the eye of their social sphere. It's part of the price they pay for their position. What I was thinking when I was looking at your wardrobe was you have a lot of pieces that maybe you're not getting as much wear out of as you might like to. This dress, I was wondering if you could wear underneath this tailcoat, which I know comes as part of a suit, but um, I think it'd be really nice just to see the two of them together. And if I'm completely wrong, then we'll all laugh, won't we? <laughs> I wanted to see some of the clothes on Robin, just to see sort of how they worked on her body. And 
I also wanted to show Robin that everything doesn't have to be so linear. What I'm thinking is that Robin has all these amazing, amazing clothes, like from all these eras in her life. Right. 20 years ago, when she was this rock chick going out downtown, she has all these like statement dresses. They're not quite so applicable now, and we can tone it down a little bit by mixing it up. Oh, oh. This is going to look amazing. Okay. That looks yeah. great. Wow. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. It's really punchy. I would wear this. And it's got attitude. That'll be good for your vacation. You think so? Yeah. I have to start thinking like this. And I don't think like this. I really don't. I have a lot of stuff in there, and I'm staying in my lane. You know what I mean? She had clothes in there that were sold to her in a specific way, or she was told that they were for certain things, and she'd stuck to that. Fashion now is about contradictions, about masculine with feminine, soft with hard, dressy with casual, and Robin didn't know that. I do. Oh, I can see why this is Mark's favorite dress. That's pretty. It's gorgeous. Let's just try it with the duster coat. It's so divine. I think I'd probably leave, oh, I don't know. It's really nice both ways, isn't it? I love those seams on it, because it seems so. Corsity. Yeah. It's beautiful. And here's Mark. Hello, perfect timing. How are you? We heard this is your favorite dress. That is my favorite dress, yes. At the end, she had three or four outfits that were great, but it was sort of things that needed filling in. Travel dress, black tie dress. We just needed to do some shopping. Maybe we'll um, call Badshu Mishka and see if they can see us and we can go and look at some of their gowns and oh, or some of their beautiful. cocktail dresses. You can have everything kind of made Perfect. to suit you. Oh, I would love that. that right. Would great. OK. <laughs> that would be great. Has everything else arrived? Are we good to go? Or are we just waiting that for Angelo? That should be all of it. Angelo and I were prepping for a fitting for a Rolling Stone shoot. She's going to be here any minute. It's always sort of a mad dash. Garments are coming in last minute. Things need to be unpacked. Things need to be organized in a very specific way to please Annabelle. Put one on. <gasps> Give me a turquoise one. We were unpacking and, while well, we were having a little bit of fun, too. Without the earrings, I kind of look like Puff Daddy. <laughs> My name is Angelo DeSanto, and I am Annabelle Tolman's second assistant. That's very chic. Does it fit? No. To work with Annabelle is so great because she has so many first name contacts, like Lagerfeld, Stella McCartney, or Marc Jacobs, Donna Karen. It's really wonderful to be around that kind of energy. Hello, children. Hello. <laughs> I have all your references here. Amazing. So I had this idea for this Hollywood icon story, something I'm obsessed with. We had a ton of clothes in there and accessories and references and all the rest, which is exactly how I like it. God, this all looks really happy. It does. Mother's happy. Well done, hey. children. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love these. It's like a showgirl costume in a shoe. Oh. Here. Hi, David Baum. David Baum is one of my best friends. He's a very good attorney. Wait, wait, I would like someone to tell me my fortune, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to wear for the trial. Hang on one second. Can you select favorites just for one minute? Annabelle gets really distracted. It can be really hard to get her to focus because there are so many different things going on. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wear a peak lapel suit, can I? Why? Because you think the jury will know the difference between a notch lapel and a peak lapel? Well, they think that I look pompous or I look arrogant in some way because I'm dressed a little flashy. Right. Which one? Um, Michaela thinks he should wear a beaded dress. That one for Marlena Dietrich, that one for Joan Crawford. Right, OK. So I think that you should feel like you and your best self. And I think the clothes will help to give you your best performance. I have, have to, to run. Bye, yeah. David. Bye, OG. I don't think David Baum ever makes a decision without me. This is really Joan Crawford. Yeah, that's amazing. We sort of experimented and sort of created some looks. Oh, and this this could work for Crawford too, no? We had like a Mae West, and we had like a Marlena Dietrich, and we had a Joan Crawford. So we were creating all these stars' visual identities. Hey, hey you guys. Um, Super busy, you guys. I have like 28 hi. minutes tops. 28? So I got to go I'm not going to go to JFK. This is Barry Smither. She's kind of a legend. Can someone take this? We were really lucky to get her because she's major. But I was pretty annoyed. I wasn't going to show I was annoyed. 
ice in your veins. I thought you would be amazing as a Dietrich, yeah, kind of like a little jazz hands of a tailcoat, white yeah. shirt, little top hat. Look, okay. The fitting is really to decide on the looks. This is cool. I'm kind of feeling this. Also allows me some space to have some creativity to sort of play with the looks a bit more. You're owning it, babe. Marlena Dietrich, her image was everything. She was like tailcoat, you know, that masculine, feminine, kind of garçon, manque. Look, I mean, she's everything. See, look how foxy that is. Exactly. Yeah, no problem. See, you've got it. We put the top hat and the tailcoat on, and there was Marlena. OK, like that. We put on the fur and the turban, and there was Joan. The clothes are giving you the character, right. you know what I mean? Because the way you stand now, you become Joan Crawford. We made those characters happen. You saw them appear in front of your eyes. It's so enthralling and entrancing when it just all works and you suddenly get into the magical zone. And we made beautiful pictures. She's a movie star. We created a movie star. So I thought it'd be really nice to start here. Okay. You know, for your big, exciting, fancy road trip. Robin has a dream closet, but I wanted to bring her a bit more up to date. I decided to bring Robin to the Badgley Mishka showroom because I know their clothes are amazing and I knew that they would update her look. The Badgley Mishka, they're real sort of like American couturiers. Badgley Mishka are legendary designers and their clothing is magnificent. I'm really familiar with this collection because I actually styled this runway show. King, that's Mark and James actually, so that's like the young line. It's beautiful. So we needed like a travel dress. This is spectacular. To me that would be a great travel dress. A really fun cocktail dress for the casinos. We could even put that over like black skinny jeans. And then like a big glamour showstopper finale dress. This would be a jaw dropper. Oh my I can God. see you happy. Yes, it makes this <laughs> smile. Smiling is good. You oh. and Mark having mimosas at breakfast. Oh, Somewhere in the Swiss Alps. Oh. <laughs> I think this dress may have been made for you. Isn't this oh. amazing? You look gorgeous. Robin, How are you? To see you. James Mishka, Mark, you look so Mark beautiful. Batchley. Thank you. The neckline's gorgeous on you, though. Everything's gorgeous. Look how long your legs are as well. They come off like <laughs> Is that, I thought maybe it was the mirror. It was a bit kind of like Glenda the Good Witch, sort of good fairy waving her wand, you shall go to the ball. We're just going to barge into these major designers' showroom and try on clothes from next season that aren't in the store yet. And they're going to come out and pin things on you personally. Okay. Just come in just a little divine. bit. Just like that. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, mostly you don't get that kind of treatment unless you're an actress. Wow, you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> I mean, so I, simple, they, but they it's know powerful. a dress. <laughs> she ended up buying the blue, like 1940s, with the beading, the peephole here, which is, I think, is such a gorgeous dress. And then she bought the, that sort of stretch lace dress, which is Mark and James. She also bought like the long, sparkly dress as well. So. She probably spent about 13 grand in about half an hour. But she got three great pieces that she will wear and wear and wear. Oh, from Dolce? Okay, great. Thanks. Oh my God, Michaela. Mm -hmm. I just got an email from Robin. Oh, what did she say? She says she's in Paris. Mm -hmm had an amazing trip, she wore all her looks, and that the sequin gown was a smash hit. That was good, I'm really happy it all worked out. I'd love to see pictures, I'm sure we can get them. Yeah. I love her. Oh. <laughs> We're really lucky to do what we do. We have beautiful things to look at all day, and we're in a creative field. I love my job, I have a great life, and I'm living my dream. <laughs>